Hi there everyone, this is DJ from Garage from .NET Academy and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to change settings for individual cameras in 3ds Max, saving different resolutions and aspect ratio for each individual camera in your scene. All you need to do is install a free script. This is a 3ds Max tutorial, but I'll be doing a similar one for Blender. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. First of all, we need to install the script, and this one is uh, available on Vladislav Bodiol's webpage. I'll give you a link in the description as well. So you can see he uh, provides uh, some nice uh, additions to 3ds Max, and some of them are free, some of them are paid. You can see the camera resolution modifier has a paid version as well. It comes with uh, default presets for most popular resolutions. So once you've downloaded the light version of the plugin, to install this, you just have to copy the camera resolution modifier MSE file directly to your standard script folder of your 3ds Max installation. It comes with a zip package. Quickly unzip it. I'll go to my 3ds Max STD plugs, and once it's there, I run the 3ds Max, and the plugin is already installed. So when I go and select the camera, I just go to the modifiers and set up a camera resolution modifier. And there you go. Let's have a look on the features of the plugin. So. The modifier lets you change width, height, aspect ratio of the shot and each camera with its own modifier has different settings saved. So there are some nice uh, little features here like uh, locking the aspect ratio, so there are also buttons for making the resolution double uh, the height or half the size and swapping the width with height, so changing horizontal to, to vertical. You can also lock transformations of the camera if you want to keep it safe. So let's have a look at some artworks using different aspect ratios, some medieval art, Kate Morgan, here we got the Instagram, square thing, Claude Monet, Jackson Powell, almost square, and Flint here, Da Vinci, it's almost an aspect ratio of two, something for Basquet. You see the modern artists are likely to use the square shape, but you can see that also in the ancient art. Here you've got a really wide one from Gauguin and Picasso as well. Hiltmate from Vermeer, Van Gogh, Rembrandt, and the Whistler's Mother. Here you've got a nice landscape, so you can see how different aspect ratios change the feel of the artworks. So here's a little 3D scene I created with 3ds Max using also assets from the 3dbit store and I wanted to explore this scene with the mm, experimenting with different compositions, different shots and, and different aspect ratios to get the creative juices flowing. Let's have a look at the scene. Let's select the camera, make the camera selected and you can see there's the camera resolution modifier here. We can easily change the aspect ratio of the camera and use that to set up our shots. So, and once you select a different camera it automatically updates because we have the update selected to uh, always update. But if you want to see the effect of uh, the settings um, clearly in the viewport, you have to make sure that you have the show save frames in active view selected. And I also have uh, action save and title save lines set up so that they provide the rule of thirds guidelines for my shot composition. Let's select a different camera now. And right now, if I want another shot with this same settings, I'll just uh, switch the perspective, try to change the view in the scene, set up some kind of a nice shot, just experiment with it. I'll set the shot using all the available tools, and as now, once I like the composition, I can just go to the objects menu and create a camera from view. So, shortcut for this is Ctrl C, and I'll drop the camera resolution modifier onto this one. I can change the aspect ratio, maybe for one, for like an Instagram shot or something horizontal. Now I can swap the height and width, make a vertical shot, and just adjust the position of the camera to make it look nice. The render settings automatically adjust to the camera settings provided by the camera resolution modifier. So. It's pretty useful. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get notified whenever a new video comes out. So see you in the next tutorial and keep rendering.